So Blurred, how is you and your friends going on the mission yesterday? Did you three just kick those evil Octarians butts? Cause I'm pretty sure you three are having fun in the mission to rescue Red Deer, right? Of course it's fun, Dad. We are defending Red Deer while it's just trapped in the room. But there's four operations of defending Red Deer. One, Penguin and OMG real quick those two Octarians are the edge of the floor at the top. And we dropped a burst bomb on those five Octarians. I was at the top, then they're at the bottom. Two, the three Arcturians are trying to help us around the RMG or M. Pinklin, and trying to turn us in, but all of a sudden, I used my heavy straddling to shoot them of death. That was easy we expected. Three, we were using those headphones, speakers to contact ourselves. I told Pinklin to shoot the Arcturian on the left, and I told OMG we had to shoot the Arcturian on the right, but they lost for me. I was at the top on the roof. I dropped the slasher on the Arcturian. But however, this is for OMG Real for putting a slasher on OG. We definitely deserve it, alright. In last, number four, Red Deer is defending Real OMG Real and Pinklin before we go in and bail her out. She will even destroy eight Arcturians by using something powerfully or magically. Yet that was totally on her. But finally, Red Deer told the owner that she'd destroy every million of Arcturians by using something powerfully or magically before he called for that. Yet she even destroy his cloning machine that creates Arcturians. It's gone forever. And now it's out of business for the entire life. And bonus. She bit the owner on his face and knocked him out. It was totally hilarious and on her. And that's how he finally got her back with me. Cause we are now couples. Right. <laughs> now sweetie, you and your friends did a lot of efforts for saving and defending Red Dia. That was really nice of you and your friends. But in a couple years later, Red Dia is gonna be a part of our family blurred. Surely Blue and Red will be together, like is right. <laughs> yeah Blurred. Be sure protecting her, cause I know you care about her a lot, right? But yet, maybe the rest of us will protecting her too. Surely you need us sometimes in the future, right? Well, we, yeah, maybe I will think of about it eventually, yet you'll be very lucky when we will deal with G Real and Pink when they're becoming a pros, and they heal right. <laughs> so, Blurred, is this starting to happen, in couple of years later in the future, I'm gonna be a part of the family, with you and your sister and your parents, Blurred. Of course we are that dear. When my mom said we would ride beauty together like us, you and I will be married, and we get our real place for home and we are gonna live together as we are. Especially we gonna have our son in the future, right? <laughs> How many times Red Dia keep hugging you a lot? Is it because she thinks you're cute, or funnier? Oh come on, she already know that I'm cute and funny and too. Five times dad, but it's alright. I know what couple is right now. She told me three days ago while you and mom and black suit and her friends with Mr. and Miss R. Lampingtons and Pink Lungeons are out. Oh beside, your hair smell like Apple Jack from my little pony. It's kinda sweet delicious apple past for me, right? <laughs> Hey Blurred, now that we get along to be together, didn't you realize that our friends is at the mall for dating, and we have a date to go in camping, right? Oh yes we do want to do it, but never forget anything. Let's go upstairs and change ourselves to go back to camp and wait three times for me, and twice for you Red Dia. Heck yeah Blurred, you're making three times to four, and I'm making two times to three, cause three times four is equal twelve. Which means we're gonna be in camping for 12 hours, right? Works for you, buddy. But let's go and have fun together and learn to you. This is amazingly accurate. So we had we do you like the piece for the show? Because we both knew the water for the go and join to the pond. Then that piece for you. Yes, Blurred, I do. I love the peaceful sound waterfall. This is a lot better when nobody is around here, right? <laughs> Correct idea. The only thing that we don't want is me not do is that it's surely we haven't seen them for a while or a couple hours. But who cares about that anyway? <laughs> Ha 
Hey, Blair, I got a question for you. Really? You do? What's your question for me? Well, you see, when I saw you doing fishing to the lake before I met you in five days ago, you've got a lot of learning skills doing fishing blurred. Who told you or taught you how to do fishing blurred? I was just curious. Oh, you are curious. I'm surprised you started the buddy. About a couple years ago, when I was six, my uncle teaches me how to do fishing. Like, very a lot. But however, I did really good efforts to do fishing a lot with my uncle. He was the first inkling taught doing how to do fishing before he passed away. But you know, how about my teach you how to do fishing someday or a week? But since we're curious about you doing fishing, you'll try someday or a week, or even better. I was curious when you know about Lumber and Jack. I know Lumber Jack. You'll see him someday or a week. Right. <laughs> Oh my god, Blurred, you're gonna teach me how to fishing, and I had to teach you how to be a lumberjack. This is gonna be the greatest idea ever. You're so clever and genius, Blurred, so good you are. <laughs> well, Red, do it. My face is on your chest, but it feels good out right there. Yet this is actually comfortable there. <laughs> Will you buy my kiss? <laughs> yes. Oh. Do it. <laughs> this time. You are dead on the plate, you traitor. But once I found you or see you, I'm gonna make you a fresh delicious cooked fried grill octopus. You'll be a meal all right. Especially your stupid blue school guardian. He's gonna be a next meal after I done with you, traitor. And beside, he doesn't deserve to be with you. And you don't deserve to be with him. Cause he's a stupid retarded squid, right? Oh, here we go again. Now, Julie, what's happening? Why did you about shell take you in the woods and throw the mouse like that? Please don't tell me that he acts him out of the kettle again. Does he never give up? Or will he stop when he starts to hurt you? Because you're the only one being a problem we know. No, Blurred. I'm not the only problem here. He is. He's not gonna leave me alone during my new life this year. Like I don't understand. Why can't we just pretend that he's not exist anymore? Surely we don't have to remember him this year. But right now, he's still living. Yet he's now searching us while we're still here. But you know what? I think I give up. What? Do you give up? Why? Because Blurred, I can't take it anymore. And I can't stand him. He's nothing but being bossy, selfish, cunning, spiteful. And now he's being a raging psycho hitman. Hitman? What's the real hitman? What does the noise bury? It means, when the person is following you, or stalking you, it's trying to kill you or hurt you. Just like my boss is trying to hurt me or kill me. But however, I'm just gonna sit here, before he arrived, and then he'll find me. But as for you, Blurred, you can just leave so he won't kill you next. Cause you're right, I am the problem, not my boss. Just go and leave. I'm ending myself after he found me. <laughs> Well, Red Dealer was very upset, because your boss just exited out of the car again, and trying to end her again. Why? Cause she said I'm right. It is her problem. But it was just question who holds the problem now, but it's on her, Marvin. And she's suggesting that she wants him to end her, cause she can't take him anymore, and couldn't stand him, 
somewhere in this woods, but you can't hide from me for too long if I'm still searching you, especially your guardian too, he's still gonna be next after I done with you traitor. Ahem. <laughs> well well well, once again, I finally caught you, twice. You have nowhere to run and hide from me. But wait the minute. Where's your blue guardian? Was he with you all the time? Did he abandon you? Or something like that? Actually sir, you are correct. He did abandon me. But since he abandoned me, I guess I have no choice to joining with you again boss. <laughs> okay one. He actually abandoned you. And two. You're joining with me as a soldier again. Right. Whoa, I'm surprised. But yet, if you're joining with me again, how come you still wearing that famous Agent mm -hmm. Eats outfit? You still using it for trust and to believing her, right? Actually sir, mm -hmm. I don't even know why I'm still wearing it. It feels so uncomfortable right now. But don't worry, I suggest we go back to your valley and burn it so we don't have to deal with that suit ever again. Yet we can build the cloning machine that creates troops again. And you'll be back in business again, right? <laughs> wow, that was a good suggestion, but promise me, you're not gonna destroy the machine again, or ruining my business, do you promise? Okay, I'll take that as a yes, but I'm very sorry for treating you for 7 years, even though your friendly kind personality is too strong on you, but turns out you're actually bad as me, especially my troops have been exploded by you using your crass weapon. 
But once again, promise me, are you going to listen me and obeying me, like being serious without being friendly? Alright. Good. Now let's get out of here before your stupid blue friend shows up again. Or even worse, rangers, wild animals like bears, or falling logs from out of the sky. Yeah, exactly. Falling logs from out of the sky could be worse. <coughs> Wait, what? Falling logs? Mm? Where do you saw falling logs? Mm? <coughs> what the fuck? Now that's funny, like really a good time, you really think I'm joining with you again, built the cloning machine again, and burn the suit I'm wearing, no, I'm not, when you pick a lost cause, you really committed, where do they make celebrities like you, so get wrecked again you filthy maggot. I heard shenanigans, all of your plans, but trying to end my video your throwing is such a bad, bad suggestion though you will. Yeah, you always knew. You can just yes. I can deal with it. You stupid faggot. Fosses brother also made of sweet or zoico. Like so are. Wait, you ain't looking real alright. <laughs> That's it. I have enough of this. I'm sick of you two keep causing stupid things around here all a lot. Wanna know why you two keep doing this? You two working together as partners for nothing. Like do you really think this is a game? No, it's not. It was very not worth it when I had a very painful scar on my face. But I realized something. You two set me up before I arrived here. And you really think those logs can destroy me, do you? Well, we are exactly where the was just a plain trailer. Just a prank. Just a prank. Just a goddamn prank. How is that funny? Look what you pranked into my face. I have a scar now. Those stupid logs. Gave me a scar on my face. And you're saying that I look like a evil lion that is taking over the pride rock after he killed his own brother. Do I look like him to you? Any last words before I'll make you two the meals? What? There's a bear. Where? Hello. You lied to me. Okay. Not funny. Where the hell did they go now? Hey. Huh? Get over here! Man, I love snuggling with your orange smoothie. Me too, Pinky. This is a perfect date. Just you and me, sitting on the bench snuggling, right? Oh, by the way, Eugenia, you want some ice cream, because you're in the mood of dessert, right? Why, yes, Pinklin, I want some ice cream. Can you get me an orange ice cream, please? Cause that's my favorite color. Sure, babe, I'll give you that. 
the thirst. I'm getting the ice cream thirst. Cause I'm getting a strawberry ice cream. Cause it is pink. If you know what I mean, get it. I know what it means, Pinklin. You are my strawberry. You're so funny, Pinky. You have a text message from Blurred Bluington. Oh, did Blur just texted me? I'm wondering what he's saying. Oh, I see. I think he just checking us, but alright. Huh? Jogging? Did they exercising? Cause he told me and Pinklin last night that he's gonna have a set update with Red Dia for camping, not exercising, but let me responded to him why. What do you mean I'm not gonna be happy? Just show me where you two at. It's not like if you two are in deep. Oh my god, what the is he doing here? He's not supposed to kill them, is he? That's very maliciously. Don't worry, Bird and Red Dia. Me and Pinklin are on our way to stop him again. I can't believe it's happening again. Hey, Bird Dia. Sorry I took for so long for a few minutes. The line was packed, and the fat guy was holding up the line and ordering a lot of food. But what I mean is, I didn't get the orange ice cream for you, babe. Especially I didn't get the strawberry ice cream. That's all. <coughs> Forget the ice creams. We have a problem. Lord and Red Dia are in danger. Red Dia's owner just exit out of the kettle again, and trying to kill them with a the knife he's holding, which is why he's going in rage and chasing <coughs> after them. What? He's chasing Blurred and Red Deer, and he's holding a knife to kill them, and you're saying he's going enraged. That's very maliciously in death. But I'm afraid if we can't stop him, he may be stronger when he's very powerful, and it's only two of us to save them. Yet we're not gonna end him because he's freaking me out. Otherwise he's gonna kill me and me first before he killed Blurred and Red Deer. But still, what are we gonna do now since they're in danger? Do you have ideas, buddy? Mm -hmm. Well, do you have any ideas who cares about you, me, Blurred, and Red Dia? Do you know? Uh, you want me to think about who cares about us? Okay, I have a couple more minutes to think before we leave and go save Blurred and Red Dia and stopping her order to kill them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know my mom and dad and my sister cares about me. Mr. and Miss Bluington and Blixima cares about Blurred. Mr. and Miss Arrangingtons and Ojin will cares about you. Especially they care about Red Dia too. Which means... Army! Hey, light bulb shows up in my brain. Or Angelia, I got a suggestion. How about my parents and my sister and your parents and your brother? And Blurred's parents and his sister will help us and save Blurred and Red Dia for stopping her owner. How's that? Oh come on babe, don't be shocked. I remember what my mom said when her and my dad used to play turf war and they lost after they met when they were younger. But this time for this year, they gonna do this again, to fix their believers. Especially Pink Naya, she used to be our team after we hired her, right before she quit. But this time I'm giving her a chance. She needs to stop the elite tolling, And my parents needs to stop the elite tolling too, right? OMG Pinklin, you're so awesome and genius. I never heard that idea before, but that was a good suggestion Pinklin. Cause of this, I'm going to give you a special treat for you. Oh really? But how? You didn't get a special sweet treat like dessert yet? But we can go and get it now quicker, right? No silly, we don't need that dessert. I'm an orange ice cream, and you're my special sweet deliciously cute strawberry fella. Now pucker up. <laughs>
And remember, we always be orange pink smoothie, especially our new nickname couple is orange strawberry ice cream. Now let's get going and save our friends pinky my love. <laughs> Okay. Three hours later. Oh no! Rick Warner! It's an Android deal! Lord, since we're now cornered, what are we gonna do before he surrounded us? I don't know, Red Deer! But we better figure something out next before he sur- It's too late, you two. Hmm? I have finally caught you two. You have no plans to stop me. You're done. You're dead on the plate, you maggots. <laughs> Just great word. He surrounded us. There's nothing left to do, word. But yet, what's the last plan now, blurred? You ain't. There's no more last plan. No idea. No do it. You're gonna be very gloomy, but very much gloomy. I'm gonna lure your boss to a new. What? Are you trying to let him kill you? He's very malicious. Why you want him to kill you first before me next? Because why do it? He wants me? No lie. I'm the most irresponsible person in the first place after I met you, Red Deer. It's all my fault. I'm such a tree stupid and coy boy. I'm a coward and I'm so you and coy boy. But this time, I'm under yourself. Do not even finish me. Okay, since you've chosen that, then go ahead, tell him that you wanted to let him kill you, if you're insisting him. Mm? Hey, you used to go over there, before you start the execution for us, if we want to win you're gonna have to end me first, cause I am the most irresponsible person for the whole entire time for all those days, I should be ashamed of myself, so go ahead, end me, I eternally tell you what to win you man, just do it. I'm insisting you! <laughs> so, you prefer death, huh? So, beat it. <laughs> oh god, I can't watch. Say goodnight, you filthy blue maggot. <laughs> 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 What are you maggots doing here? And how did you find us? Oh my god, you guys. You're just in time to save me and Blurred. Guys! Were we not wearing your agent outfits before you came? But whatever. Y'all were very late, by the way. You elite octoling man. You better step away from our friends and put that knife away. Yeah, we heard her. Didn't you know that those two are together as couples? Didn't you realize that? They have big connection to each other, and they love each other, right? <laughs> you fools, you're not kidding are you, they're just idiots. None of the ladies will not liking that stupid dim-witted brainwashing inkling like him. And none of the gentlemen will not liking that geeky nerdy octoling like her too. Especially she's a fraud, and a traitor. And the most importantly, you two are here to stop me for killing them. How? You didn't brought the weapons with you this time. But even stupidity worse, you, and what army, you pathetic disgraceful kids. <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> huh? What is it? Hello sir, are you that elite octoling man trying to kill my son, especially his girlfriend, because she gonna be a part of the family with me and my wife and my daughter very soon enough, right? Well sir, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, say that again, I couldn't hear you over the sound of me shooting myself. <laughs> Well, I'm enjoying you and Pinklin. 
I'm surprised that you invite my parents and my sister and my friends and Mr. and Miss Bob Rangington and Pink Lanterns to stop me if I leave that throwing man trying to kill me in Red Deer. That was totally worth it. Yeah, thanks for saving us you guys. But one question, how did you let those guys know about my boss? Like how did you do that? Oh, that's a good question, Bestie. How did me and Pinklin let those guys know about the elite op tolling looks like? Well, here's an example. You remember that we took a picture of us defeating that elite op tolling man while he was passed out yesterday. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, no, right. did. Well, basically, me and Pinklin went to the mall and show my mom and dad and my brother and his friends and Mr. and Miss Bluingtons and Pinklingtons a picture of us defeating the elite op tolling man while he was passed out with my phone. That's all. Oh. That, that was easy for me, but... <laughs> ha, you wish. Guys, Mom and Dad and my sister and her friends and Mr. and Miss Bluingtons and our Rangingtons are finished beating up that elite octoling man. He's now in painfully in soreness. <laughs> hey, he's got a face, man. Hmm? <sighs> okay, now that I got your attention... But listen about Sky Face Man, you're in the upcoming disaster! It's off limit! It's not over for you! No more plans for killing your nice friend Lee Kind of totaling in you, because she deserved to live to be nice for everyone, especially the twelve of us here! We'll all be nice to her for now, and we believe in word that she is not trying to hurt me and my friends and my family! We all care about her! We all agree with her! And we all defending her if she's in danger! Especially me being her guardian! Cause I know you don't care about her, you don't agree with her, and you're defending yourself to kill her by yourself after she destroyed any million of your troops. But now you think that you're the danger, you're there malicious, cruel, and sadistic. But you'd be done forever if you ever said Lee Kai Rock Terry will alone if she doesn't tend to have sue your face ever again. Pray please, scoot things man, it's really not that hard. Alright. Fine, I'll leave her alone. But I'm glad that you three idiots are happy with her, especially your families, and everyone in this world. But, I'll be back. I'll be staying in this wood forever. Yet I will get you and her someday. You'll never see the last of me. I will kill you and that traitor, especially your friends and your family and their families. Cause I know you all care about her, but I'm not. <laughs> oh boy, that's uh, that's not good. Hold up, wait a minute. There's more. Mr. Scout thinks man, I wouldn't stay in these woods if I were you. Cause there's so many old bears around here, and we're going to have consequences right now. Okay, one. My name is not Mr. Scarface Man after you two idiots gave me a scar on my face. My last name is Blackington, too. I already giving myself up. I'm done for today. I said I'll get you two someday. And three, there's no wild bears around here right now. And I'm not fall for it this time. Well, I don't care. You don't deserve to live to exist. But that, before you have consequences. How about you swim my childhood friend Wayne Berry? Is here right now. I'm insisting you, but I will call him right now. Oh, oh boy, you are Barry, my old childhood friend. It's been like a couple years since you haven't seen each other. <laughs> Hello, Barry, my reservoir balloon player. Did you miss me? I'm sure it was you. Because I am a few funny body, and we look very big, you look very cute and feel like a little bear and I was a moon kid. But now, you're back. I'm so happy to see you with your funny face and my Barry. Wait. For all those years, he mean to tell me that his childhood friend is a bear for the entire whole time. Oh, uh, yes, so. Yet yeah, that was a surprise guess for us, except that dear, that was her first time to see Blurin's childhood friend. But we didn't realize that his childhood friend is a bear, but we're lucky that he's now friendly just like that dear alright. Good for us, Ochenuel. 
Okay, Barry, now that you're here and came back to me, I brought an idea for you. It's Tweety and Tweety. But first, we need Private. We are Julia and Pinklin. Mom and Dad and Black Sheena. I'm Julia and Pinklin. And Mr. and Miss are Andrews and Red Pinklin. I want you guys to leave me on that deal here. We're going to be fine. We take care of this. Uh, okay, son. We'll leave you two here while you two finishing to defeating that elite octoling. But tell Barry that we said hi and goodbye. No, wait, come back. Don't leave me here. He's lying. He's trying to let his stupid blue bear to kill me. I'm very serious. He's nothing but a psychopath. Please come back. I'm begging you people. Sorry, Mr. Scarface Man. They couldn't hear you over the loud disco stay off. Now shut up and be quiet. But anyway, like was I saying? I have a crazy and frame new idea for you. But listen closely, buddy. <laughs> Hey, uh, Blue Bear, please, it's not what it looks like. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to insulting your friend like that. Yet it was yesterday. He'll probably let it go until now. Right. <laughs> Well, Spock? Ah! Hey, I guess Mr. Scarface Man is a special dinner because you said we're going to make you a fresh, delicious, cooked, very good octopus. But now it is right. <laughs> you know, Blur, I'm starting to like your childhood friend, even though it's a blue bear. I didn't know he's your guardian, but I'm lucky to have you as my guardian, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Barry! You have finally finished your special <laughs> dinner, buddy! Good job, Barry! Oh my god, Blurred. I can't believe your friendly blue bear ate my boss. That was totally worth it. Thanks a lot, Blurred. You saved my new life after he's now a goner. Hey, don't thank me. Thank my childhood friend, Barry. I told him to do it. Otherwise, it's already the first way we are still stopping Mr. Scott's very small trying to kill me on your red beard, right? <laughs> yep, he sure is. But hey, now every horrible disaster thing by my boss trying to kill us is finally over and cancel forever. How about you and I will go somewhere later at night? Dude, what? Going somewhere later at night? Why would you do that? There's nothing fun during tonight. Do you know about it? Oh, don't be silly for being curious, Blurred. I do know about it. When the man and the woman are walking together during the night, they sit down and look up at the dark blue sky, to see all of those white stars glowing and shiny like angels. But I really think we should do that during the night, cause that's what couples do. But I hope you will like it, do you? <laughs> oh, I get it. Do you want Blurred and he going back somewhere later at night? Oh, you said you get a real look up at the dark blue sky to see all of those white stars glowing and shining like angels. Yeah, you're a star to that. Are you down there? You know, sweet and being close. Like me and you. If you know what I mean, right. <laughs> no worries. I already know what you're trying to say. You just wanna be comfortable with me. If I wanna be close to you, you'll love it too. But after that, you'll see what's coming next really soon after we sit down and get close each other. That's all. But anyway, let's get out of here. You can say goodbye to your friendly blue bear. I hope you two will see each other someday. Or very soon enough, let's boost off my love. Yeah, I know. Me and Red Beard have connection with each other. We just met in five days ago. That's all. But it's good for me and my family. She's gonna be a part of my family very soon in the future. If you know what I mean, I'm trying to say. But surely, if I become in your misfortunes, so is Red Beard. Like, this year she's my girlfriend. But now it's future. She's gonna be my wife.
But after we get married, we're going to have a kid, and we're going to teach our kid about being a fisherman like me, being a lumberjack like Andrea, and some other things, like making friends and being nice to people, just like Andrea, especially you, Barry, with the nice friend we have and that I haven't met since after I hope you be stuck on the wild drive since later. But now this year, I'd like to see you try to find an animal that is in danger being stuck, or being surrounded by the hunters, and after that, the animal will fall in love with you after you become a hero. That's all. But anyway, I got to go home. My parents are waiting for me, especially Reggie. But it's okay, you and I will see each other again. Someday, or very soon, be safe in the woods, Barry. Bye bye. <laughs> So Blurred and Red Deer, how was camping? Did you two fishing together, cutting trees and getting some logs for cooking some fishes, or some other things you guys did something in camping? Actually, Dad, we didn't do nothing while we're camping. Me and Red we just sit and relaxing on the ground. And it's when the peaceful sound of the water fell to the pond. But however, it was your suggestion. Yet I definitely was your request. Right. <laughs> Well, that's sweet, Blurred. We're glad that you two are getting along with each other. But speaking of camping, what about the elite Oakley man? What happened to him? Well, how about you three guess it out? But here's the hint. Do you guys already know that Barry is a friendly bear? Right. Yes, we do. Barry is a nice, friendly bear. But why did you say that? But still, what happened to the elite Oakley man? Don't worry, I'll tell you why. Since Blurred's childhood bear is really brave, Barry ate my boss, and then he died. It was totally worth it. I want him to be not exist, not me. <laughs> what? Why are you guys looking very awkwardly? Blurred told Barry to kill him. It was just a final plan for stopping my boss, but at least he saved us, right? Well, you two aren't wrong. That was the right thing to do when you get punished. But otherwise, I'm definitely scared when he's getting worsted being mad or being outraged and maliciously. But I'm glad we're lucky that he's eaten by that blue bear. Well, you guys should be. Cause it's not here to eat with your two, especially you guys. It's here to help for stopping Mr. Scott Face Man. That's all. Just run out to the intent to bear with you see him again. But, here's the first warning. Please do not shoot him. He's just a friend. We know he's around for the blue bear. He's not too bad of the other animals around in the woods. But they're very too much bad of the hunters. They kill those bears. Anyway, those bears stuff strike in with them statue. Or even worse, those hunters will cut the bear's head off and put it on the wall. Like a mountain stuff animal heads. But to be honest, he told me his friend's story what happened to his parents. His parents are very good mountain stuff heads in the wall. You thought they were vulnerable. I understand, Leon. I will protect him. I will make sure we only save the forest surrounded by the hunters again. But the other, first warning. Do not kill my love for you. You guys got that? Okay. Okay, good. I'm just reminding you guys not to hurt Barry. You should probably remind me we are angels and the pink ones, just in case they will be intense. Okay. Wow, Blurred. That was a long speech when you just said, is this how when you're protecting Barry, more than protecting we Blurred? Of course I do, buddy. I can protect Barry and your red deer. Who do you think I'm protecting? Both of you, it's a part of the friendships. Right. <laughs>
Oh, Birdie, you're such a good hero. We all counting on you. Well, look at that blurred. The White Stars is about to beginning. You know what that means. Um. Is it time for Ben to go to sleep, Benny? <laughs> no, silly. That was before that. You and I are going out for tonight. Sitting on the ground and watch all the white glowing stars from the dark blue sky. I told you that before we left the woods after your childhood bear kill my boss. Remember that. It was a couple hours ago, right? <laughs> Okay, now I remember that, but I'm very sorry. You know how sorry I feel I keep forgetting about something. Like sometimes. I'm just being forgettable, that's all. No need to be sorry. Personality doesn't matter. I love you just the way you are. Funny cakes. I hope this is a final date before they start kissing each other, right? Man, what a wonderful beauty night we having. Those white glowing stars are very shiny as the angels. And even better, sometimes the glowing stars could be a shooting stars, like making wishes, like anything you want. But you know what I wish? Your sister told me that she said you and I are together as the American flag from the United States of the North America, right? Of course she told you. That's why I want all part of my family. The one Wellington is you, and the four Dillingtons is new mom and dad and my sister. If you know what I mean all night, and you know what, now that we're here, I remember when me and my dad used to went to this place when I was 12 red beer. This remembers that we used to talk about my uncle passed away, but to be honest, it's my dad's brother in red beer. Wait, your dad has a brother? I didn't know your dad has a brother, but even though he's passed away, what did you and Mr. Bloomington just said about your uncle Blurred? Oh, it's simple easy body. Me and Dad used to talk to my uncle by looking down at the water wells in the ocean of heaven. The reason why we doing that, cause we say a lot of good feelings about him. He did a lot of good efforts after he passed away right here. Um, Blurred, you do realize that you and Mr. Bloomington just look in each other's faces towards the water. You and him just looking reflection okay. No, it's not, buddy. It's not just only me and my family. Everyone can look down the water and say some good feelings about their families. But you don't know each other's family, like your parents or your sibling, or some other families. But at least you love me and my family, cause you are now part of us. But speaking of family, why don't you look down at the water and think about who do we care about? But it's not that hard. It's very simple easy as you think. All you have to do is look down at the water and get just for the reflection of yourself. Just pretend that you see a person that we care about. But you know what I care about? I care about Shigeru Mijiyamoto, who's the creator of the Nintendo for all those years. He's now 69 years old. I sang a happy birthday about him last year. He's my favorite video game designer. Oh, and last, I have my second favorite video game designer. It was Yusari no Gami. He's the creator of Splatoon and working for Nintendo. But good news for this year, he already finished the Splatoon 3 and he scheduled a game on September the 9th. But to be crazy, before the game was released, Pink Neil's going energetic like being very excited after the game was in trouble. Right. <laughs>
boy, look at those good people in the water. They all have been walking around in the ocean of heaven. But some rad people are walking around in the deep of the sea of madness. But I already know who is walking in the deep of the sea of madness. But was it me doing? Mr. Spy Face Man, you was eaten in the death by my childhood friend Barry. He did what he deserved. Right. Ha <laughs> Are we doing another scaring contest again? Cause we are doing a silent treatment. But still, is there something that you tried to say, buddy? Why, yes, Blurred. There is something I wanted to tell you. Yet you're gonna be very, very comfortable <laughs> when I'm about to do to you. I'm sorry, Blurred. Could you restrain your gum and make you very comfortable? Look again. Cause I already know what it is. Are you going to put my face on your chest again? Cause it feels good right there. If you know what I mean, alright. Get to it. Uh, no silly. Not exactly. But not this time though. But maybe I'll think about it later. But anyway, I just looked down at the water. And seeing a person that I care a lot. But it's a special surprise. For you blurred. But I want you to listen. It's a very important announcement that I wanted to say. Pretty please, buddy. <laughs> oh, you did. That's great. And you said you had an important announcement that you wanted to say. But first, let me stand up so I don't get closed by the edge while I'm sitting. Or throwing myself into the water. Okay. Hmm? Okay, now I'm standing up. Show me what you got through your important announcement that you wanted to say for the speech, buddy. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, now that I got your attention, this important announcement is about a person that I care a lot after I look down at the water. The person I care is you, Lord Bloomington. <laughs> what? You serious? Yes. I'm 100% serious, Blurred. You're the only generous inkling I ever know that you show me everything that is good for me. I've never seen people treating me thankfully respect before, but now, you are, including your family and our friends too. But still you Blurred, you're the nicest kindness bravely inkling that I ever met in four days ago. I really love you just the way you are Blurdy. You remember that you and I and Orangina and Pinklin are in the underworld after we fall into the holes from the ground. Orangina tells me why I had a big connection with you Blurred. I told her that you have adorable eyes while you cross your eyes a lot sometimes, or every time you do. But you know what's every time you did? You're just being cartoonist and funny. Like you threaten the owner in the store trying to sue him before he'll call the angry mob to attack me since I come in peace. But I was with you Blurred, he doesn't understand why I'm with you as a new friend, or the newcomer. If you know what I mean what's he thinking who I am. But however, you've just defending me before he's start panicking. It was a right thing to do when he's about to tell everyone who I am. But not anymore, you and your sister and her friends and our friends tell everyone about me being nice and kindness. But I'm glad everyone believing you and our friends are telling the truth while you fellas are being innocently, and me being friendly as an angel. And you know what I'm glad of something? I'm glad your friendly childhood bear killed my boss that he's trying to kill me and you, but now he's dead on the plate, right? <laughs> well, Red Gia, that was the nicest probable speech when you just said that was totally faithfully worth it. But even though I purposely threw the owner in his friend four days ago, it was obviously a joke, or a prank. It was a safe suggestion. I'm just trying to help. Right. <laughs> oh. Now this is Chloe, a little inconvenient dream. I'll put here. Are you going to put my face on your chest again? Are you? Mean? <laughs> Maybe before that, but you know, 
I just realized something. I remember what Orange Amy said to Pinkman after we left going fishing and cutting some woods. Did you know what she said to him, buddy? Um, I don't even know. It's okay, Blurred. I understand. I know you're not paying attention to her, but I was. I was listening what she said to him. She said you better get that smooch going, because I'm gonna smooch you good, but you're gonna love it when I'm about to do the same way what she's doing. Now pucker up, Blurdy, my love. yesterday and the whole time, but now, this is gonna be the happiest family and friends ever after. Thanks, Fingler, and Red Dia. You two are the greatest couples for the rest of eternity. From now on, So Red Del, how was the night? Did you and Blur just look up at the sky to see all of those stars? Was it romantically beautiful, kiddo? Why yes, Mr. Bluington. It was a wonderful night yesterday. Me and Blur had a lot of common. Him and I went to the Port Mackerel. We sit and watch by looking up at the sky to see all of those stars. And after that, he's showing me the water where all of those people in heaven and the ocean. He told me everything about his uncle passed away. It was obviously lovable and kindness. He will love his uncle, cause his uncle is in the ocean of heaven, and I hate my boss, cause he get what he deserved, and you know what he deserved, he's now in the deep of the sea of madness, right? <laughs> Okay, one. That was very nice when we show you the ocean of heaven after you recognized the place last night where you kiddos are at. And two. Did he just tell you about his uncle passed away? Did you realize his uncle is my brother? I can't believe he was talking about him. He was my good awesome brother teaching my son how to fishing when my son is little. I still remember him after he get crushed by the tree since the timber accident. Or maybe the timber on purpose back in couple years ago. But I was with him. But someone did this after I heard the tree crash, before I came arrived to see what's happening. But whoever who did, they'll be in jail forever after the cops will figure something out who did this. Yet, they didn't, they didn't tell me who did it. It's been forever since the cops didn't discover the clues out whoever killed my brother after the tree crush on him. Nobody will not know who did. I miss him very much. Ah, oh, it's okay Blinu, we all still remember your brother passed away after the tree crush on him. Pinkster felt the same way when his parents died during the car ride when he was younger. It was definitely not you and Pinkster's fault. Okay. Well Red Dia, you've made my dad sad after you said about my uncle also known as his brother passed away. I don't know why my brother tells everything about him for you, but he shouldn't have done that. Uh, actually Black Sina. It's not your brother's fault for telling me about Mr. Bloomington's brother passed away. It was technically my fault for letting him to say that. I was very curious about him learning fishing, which mean I shouldn't done that, not him. That happened yesterday, that's all. <laughs> Whatever. Oh it's okay Red Dia, we understand you're curious of him, it was obviously back in couple years ago when my son was curious of his uncle in the first place Red Dia. Oh, Lord was curious in the first place, why didn't he tell me after I tell him first yesterday, he could have at least tell me first before I tell him. Well you don't doubt fully what he's trying to say before you say something, but speaking of which, is he okay after you fellas came back to this house last night? Oh yeah he's alright. Yet he fainted out last night before we left from the Port Mackerel, so I carrying him. He just being a silly, lovable, kind, funny doll, right? <laughs> oh, there he is. He just yelled himself off the stairs. But good time he's awake. Hey, clumsy boy. Why did you yeet yourself off the stairs? 
You do realize that's dangerous to do that since it doesn't have stair handles. But anyway, are you okay, brother? I was fire blocks. I just woke up and went to the bathroom. I have those red marks on my face, sister. That's all. <laughs> oh my god. Did our son just woke up with those chicken pox all over his face? Didn't you realize those things are germs? He didn't know that, honey. If that was the first time seeing our son with chicken pox all over his face, we should call the doctor before those germs will get onto us. Mother and father, no, not this time. Blurred did not get the chicken pox all over his face. He just have those red kiss marks all over his face. But, I already know what matches those red kiss marks. You know who it was. No, no. who could, could it, it be, be Black Cena? Wait, it was you Red Duh. Did you kiss our son while you kiddos are out last night? And then giving him those red kiss marks all over his face, kiddo. Well, yeah, why? Is that a good right thing when I'm giving a good special reward to your son, Mr. Blue Angel? Why are you confusing? Of course it's a good thing. we never seen Blurred being kissed before, but now this year, he get kissed by you, kiddo. That was amazing. Yeah, even though you love his personality, he acts after he was born being like this. But me and my husband and my daughter still love him just the way he is. Yeah, you and my brother aren't the bad, pathetic couple. You two are the funny, energetically couple I ever seen. You two are generous, adventurous, helpful, and the heroes. Wanna know why you two are the heroes? You two defending yourselves for stopping and killing that elite octoling man, especially Barry. Cause he's the hero too, right? <laughs> Okay, is this necessary to hug me like that? This is getting uncomfortable here. And Blurred, you're hugging on my face. I wish you never done that. Yo, Blurred, I remember when our son hugging our daughter incorrectly when they little Blurred. Yeah, me too, but now she's 23 years old, being hugged by Blurred's girlfriend. Because she's hugging her correctly, you know. I knew that, but speaking with hugging, are we ready to show the surprise gift for our son and his girlfriend yet? Well, not really. I've been thinking for a couple hours. I don't know what should we give them. But I'm still thinking, honey, there's gotta be a special gift for them, Bluvian. Huh? Who's calling? Oh, it's Green Gory. I wonder what he's calling me for. I don't know, honey, but I'm not gonna put it on speaker. I'm just gonna put my phone close to my ear so I can hear him without Blurred and his girlfriend listening what he's saying. Hello. Why is Green Gory, my son and his girlfriend, are okay yesterday? They just left from camping and defeating the elite octoling man. But why did you call though? What? Why? Oh really? That's good. And what's the request Green Gory? You did what, Green Gory? Oh wow, that's really awesome. My son been waiting for so long. He's gonna love it once he sees it, especially his girlfriend. Cause that's her first time. I see you later once we get there. Goodbye. Hey, Dad. Who's on the phone? Who's calling you? Oh, it's Green Gory. He just called and checking you and Red Duh are okay. But, there's good news and another good news. Oh, another good news. Never heard another good news before, but I'm lucky there's no bad news this time. Yet what's the good news number one? Okay then, good news number one, Green Gory tells me his son and his friends are bailing out from jail. They decided becoming good for the rest of their life. But yet, however, they still grumpy, except Siren, he's kinda excited for being good for the rest of his life, otherwise he's still paralyzed after his friends beating him up really bad in three days ago. But it's okay, Simon and Sarita are going to take their son to the hospital to get his bones fixed inside his body. But lucky he didn't press charges on Green Nard Magentina and YG. Wait, you mean to tell me, they've been in jail in the whole time? Why you didn't tell us dad? Um... I don't even know. Oh, uh, it's okay dad, you failed to someone lose me, we 
because yesterday, I don't even know where the New York and those idiots are at, but now I get it. They in jail in the whole time. That was totally with your dad. That was the right thing to do. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. But speaking of bailing, what's the last one? What's the good news number two? Wait, there's extra good news number one. While Siren is in the hospital, Green Gory told me his son and his two friends are staying in their houses, so they won't cause any troubles this time. They gonna do lots of chores to make efforts though. Wanna know why? Well here's the good news number two kiddo. Green Gory and Grienta and their friends reminding us especially the Orangingtons and the Pinklingtons that Green Gory won the lottery ticket, but it's not someone else's this time. He just pay for it. But right now, Blurred and Red Da, you two kiddos earn the flight trip to Las Vegas from the Nevada with me Bluey and Blexina and the rest of our friends except Greennard and his friends. Congrats you too. <laughs> Wow, what a surprise. We're going to Las Vegas again. But just remember, the same flight time we go is 3 o'clock, yet you two are lucky it's 10 o'clock. So I'm pretty sure you two got more extra time to pack all right. Oh my god! We are going to the Las Vegas! 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 My goodness, those two are really happy for going on the flight trip to Las Vegas, Billy. Sure they are. That's what family and friends do, honey. And beside, haven't I told you after we met in middle school when we was teenagers? I said when we make friends each other, we become besties. Once we're getting older, we'll be making family, including friends. Just like my mother said, right. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with you and grandmother, but however, we making their life better now. Know why? It's just the four Bluingtons, and the one Redlington in our family, but even though I'm assuming Blurred just named her when she's a troop after he met her, but not anymore. She ain't no troop no more, she's now a playable Octoling, and keeping her full name after my brother named her, right. You, you better like Cena, the, the sweetest daughter of ours. <laughs> Wow, Blurred. I can't believe it's happening again. This is the greatest day ever, Blurred. I know, right? This was gonna be a greatest flight trip to Las Vegas from Nevada. We better start packing before we miss the flight. And then better for you, buddy. I love you, Red Bean, my sweet friend. We love you, call Dr. Terry and Buddy. Oh, I love you too, Blurred, my sweet, sillier cartoonist, funny, inkling boy. <laughs> It's go time! Hey, Dad, I just realized something. After the police came over our house a few days ago, what did they say about that beast suit? What are you going to do with her suit? Are they taking it for the evidence, Dad? Well, no son, they're not gonna take her suit for the evidence. They're gonna give to someone just in case they'll keep it. Oh really? Wow, you just thought about that? I wonder who's keeping your suit. But I'm just gonna let it go alright. So I don't go to remember it. Okay. Haha, uh, good one son. I love you blurred. I love you too, Dad. So let me get this straight. You're saying that you officers came by to my store, dropping this Octarian's suit in my store, and I had to keep it. But I don't get it, those outfits supposed to be in the garbage. I've just leave those outfits outside during the night in five days ago. But now today, you letting me keep that suit. But why? I thought you officers gonna take the suit for the evidence for that. We was, but turns out, our chief told us we had to return the suit to your store. It's just for decision, sir. Yeah, you're the only one still having your stock. But however, you gonna have to keep that suit whatever you like it or not. Unless you want your customer to sell the outfit eventually. It's just for business company, sir. Do you want to keep that suit in the store for getting the money for selling it? Or we gonna have to take it for the evidence since you've said it? Your choice, sir. Okay, I'll keep the Octarian's suit in my store just in case my customer will buy it for sale. Thank you officers for letting me have it for justice, you officers. Very good. That's what we thought you said. Learn to how to respect the officers, including people. Yeah, but just for reminding you, if the friendly Octarian is coming back to your store again, you're gonna have to be nice to her, don't harassing her, don't abusing her, and don't even think about refusing service to her, it's your part of your life, sir. 
Wait what? You were legally reminding me to be nice to the friendly Octarian. Did you even remind the whole people in this world? Is that gonna be a new special law officers? Mm -hmm. Wow sir, we never thought about it. Thanks for suggesting us sir. We're gonna head to reminding our chief, especially the news station too. Yeah, I hope you will enjoy for the rest of your life being nice to that Octarian. Especially everyone including us. Have a good day sir. Well, this is your new life sir, my suggestion is to be nice to that Octarian, for the literal justice, that's what the officer Octoling woman said for me. Mm? But, to be honest, I'm surprised the officers didn't bring the Octoling shades to put it in my store, otherwise I don't wanna have complaint situation in my store, but still. I wondering who's gonna buy that outfit for sale, nobody did not notice that, and nobody will not accept that, but I like to see they try buying it, yet who else could it be? Good afternoon sir, did you got something for sale today? Cause I literally watched the cops exit out of your store sir, but still, what do you have for sale? Hmm? Oh my god, I can't believe this. Is that what I think it is? Really? What do you think that is? Are you that stupid? It's a neo octoling suit. Give me more couple reason why you want that. Well, basically, back in four days ago, haven't you watched the news about the Octarian on the loose, especially the three irresponsible guests being on her side? When me and my boyfriend saw the first scene after the intro on the news from the TV, we saw that suit while the news reporter showing us and doing his speech, not to mention, my boyfriend wished that I was wearing that suit. Wanna know why he wished for it? He thinks I would be cute and hot wearing that suit if I'm perfect look. But right now, I'm the first person that is buying that suit. Can I please pay for it? I wanna buy that suit for sale. It's on limit, isn't it? <laughs> mm? Uh, that's really nice of you and your boyfriend. But sorry to say this kid, I already make the money balance for that suit. It cost very expensive. Know why? Cause I felt like it to make my own decision in my store. This suit ain't no lower price like very cheap, or not free after the cops gave it to me. So I suggest you leave my store, so another customers will have it, unless they have lots of money, but you don't. Oh yes I do, I have lots of money in my credit, just trust me, I'm famous as the others, especially one of my clones. Yeah right sure you do, yet I don't believe in you, just show me a lots of money, but if you don't have it, you're not getting that suit. Okie dokie! Heads up big fella, catch this. <laughs> oh wait wait wait! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Whoops, sorry sir, didn't mean to throw my money at you, but it's just life. You're gonna have to get used to it, especially being nice to that Octarian. But anyway, I already put the armor, the gloves, the belts, and the boots in the two bags. Hope you have a nice day in your life, sir. Bye-bye. Well, I guess I deserve that. Right after I pay the hospital bill. I'm really paralyzed. Right. Now. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, boy. Oh boy, that's a lot of fishes in my bucket. I've been fishing for a couple hours, but now it's full. Or should I say, fish-tastic, right? <laughs> Hey Blurred, how's the fishing going? It was good honey. I caught 20 fishes in my bucket, so we can have some for lunch or dinner honey. Wow Blurred, you're really good at fishing for 20 years, just like your uncle when he teaches you how to fishing. But you know, in this world, I wonder if they doing the fishing competition very soon enough, just in case you be ready. Earn the fishing trophy, and me and Blur Ready will be proud of you. Especially your uncle seeing you and being proud while he's in the ocean of heaven, right? Wow, Red Deer, you really thought about this world to have a competition of fishing, don't you? But I tell you what, if I become a famous fisherman, I'll be rich, making merchandise, and being on TV for the interviewing. It's even a lot better back when we was younger, like don't you remember when we was younger? Me and my sister and our friends and her friends are doing an announcement about you being nice without you being evil. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was the nicest thing that you and your sister and our friends and her friends said about me being nice. Except Green Nard and his friends. They said a horrible worst thing about me after the news been ended, right? <laughs> hey Blurred. Remember that spot when I cornered you to the big rock that you thought I was trying to hurt you when we met? Oh yeah, right, I remember that. When we was younger, when you appear nowhere after I done fishing, I didn't mean to frighten you before you think you're gonna attack me. But luckily you didn't. Mr. Scarface Man told me that you was born being friendly kind and nice when his machine was overload and malfunctioning. But to be honest, I don't care his machine was malfunctioned. He shouldn't done that in the first place before you was born. He was trying to force you to be bad. But not anymore. He's gone and dead forever. But you honey, you are perfect the way you are. You deserve to have me and our son, your friends, and some other fun stuff that we do for our life, right? <laughs> Blurdy, you really think I'm perfect the way I am. That was very sweet of you. When I met you, you was funny the way you look when you're cross-eyed. But you're very cute after I met you, Blurdy. <laughs> well, at least I'm not a weirdo. Not trying to annoy you after you appeared. But turning my full head around all the way is unnecessary. But not for long. You love me just the way I am, don't you, honey? Cause you're the best one. <laughs> well, look who silently showed up, Blurred. Huh. Oh, Blur Ready, our silent perfect son, you have finally came back with something. Did you find anything while you walking around the woods, my boy? Well that's awesome, just show your own father and your own mother what you find. Yeah, this better be good importantly, hopefully you found something very inventively, but show us son. Sorry I had to do that son, but that's not a goal, that's just a stinky rotten dirty mask, on the ground, I don't know how you find it, but you're wrong. Yeah, we're not gonna explain it why you found it on the ground, but we don't despise it, yet just pretend that rusty thing does not exist, and we pretend that rusty thing is not exist too, you got that, do we make ourselves clear son? Hey, uh, son, listen. Mm? Sorry I had to make you upset Blur Ready. It's kinda obviously when you first time did a mistake, but I felt the same way as you are son. When me and your mother was younger, she brought the biggest logs after she cut down the trees. She was the lumberjack, but I get confused what is lumber and who's jack, but not this time. I get it what she said. But anyway, when me and your mother are struggling for moving the big logs, I decided that I used the ultra stamp and hit the logs. But basically I hit strike and it flew away. 
Yet my friend Pink Lynn was crushed after the big logs landed on him. So that's my mistake for hitting the big logs and strike it out with my ultra stamp. But you son, it's okay that you make your mistake. Maybe someday you'll be the best inventor. Or being the archaeologist, that's all. Yep, I love you too son. But maybe someday I'll teach you how to fishing. Or your mother will teach you how to be the lumberjack. Or you'll teach me and your mother how to be an inventor or archaeologist, right? <laughs> now that's a good suggestion, Blurred. You're the best kind person that I ever met. I love you, Blurred. And I love you too, son. Come on, Red Deer. Let's go home. I gotta put those fishes in the freezer, just in case we'll have for lunch or dinner, honey. Okay, funny cakes. Let's go before the wild bears showed up. Unless your friend Barry, of course. I doubt it, honey. But I'm pretty sure him and I will see each other again since 20 years past. But let's go, honey. Well, okay then. Come on, Blur Ready. We're going home. But don't be sad. We're coming back to the woods again. Hopefully you'll be more happy. Right. <laughs>